Last week we did a tutorial on liquid motion graphics. This week we're doing a tutorial on lightning motion graphics. In this video, I'm gonna break down the simple steps to electrify your projects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. So in this video, we're gonna be creating these lightning accents that can be used to spice up your video. Perhaps you actually need some sort of lightning motion graphics, but also ultimately these are some really cool uh, graphic effects to add in your project. So before jumping, smash like on that video because it helps us out tremendously. But now you're just gonna hear my voice and not see my face. So as you can see, these lightning axes can be used in any way to really just help make your compositions pop. So here we are, we have a blank comp, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the pen tool, make sure fill is set to none, click okay, set the stroke to solid color, and then we'll make sure we have a stroke width of nine. So once that's set up, we can create a random path. It doesn't have to be anything specific. So once that's created, we can go into our shape layer, go to add and just animate this by using a trim paths. So what we'll do is open this layer up and we'll add a keyframe for end and we'll move that keyframe forward. And then we'll set the end down to 0%, just like this. We'll move forward here by say frame four, we'll add a keyframe for start. And right after that end keyframe, we'll set this up to 100%. All right. Then what we'll do is we'll select all these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease, go to the graph editor, and all we're gonna do is select all the points here and you'll see a handle. You can drag these out to smooth out the animation. So that's fine. So now you should have an animation like this. It's just a very simple line. All right, so next up, we need to add a wiggle path to this. We'll open this up. We'll come here to size. Maybe set this up to like 150-ish. We'll come here to the detail. We can go ahead and crank this up to maybe 20 to 30. We'll come here to correlation and set this to maybe 90%. And let's come here to the random seed all could stopwatch and we'll type in time asterisk 20. And we'll have the squiggly animation in here. All right, so there's a few effects that we need to apply to this. So we'll go to effect, uh, stylize, we'll grab roughen edges, change your edge type to spiky. We'll go ahead and set the border to about 10 and the edge sharpness about 10 as well. And we'll set our scale up to like 150 on this. All right, awesome. Then let's go to effect, distort, and we'll grab turbulent displace. And we'll go ahead and set the amount up to 100 and the size up to 200. And then we'll add one more effect. We'll go to distort and we'll grab wave warp. And we'll use a wave height of 20 and a width of say 60. So it doesn't make sense really what we have at this point, but we're so close to making it look like lightning or energy. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about how do we can create this glow effect here uh, and really make this pop. So what we're gonna do is we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer right here. And with our adjustment layer selected, we'll go to effect, stylize, we'll grab glow. We'll set our glow intensity up to two here and we'll go ahead and go to original color, set this to A and B colors and change this to sawtooth B greater than A. And here you go to color A and we can change our color to like a nice blue or any color that you want. Then what we can do is take our glow effect. We can go to edit, duplicate. We'll go ahead and set our glow radius of 280 and you know, I'll make it pop out there. And now you're just gonna have this smooth lightning accent streak here, but we can make something a little bit more. If you wanna go to effect uh, time, you grab posterize time. You can use a different frame rate here and this will kind of glitch it out a little bit. So here it is and kind of gives it more of, a, I guess, a cartoony type look to it with that posterized time. So go ahead and pick and choose what you wanna use there. One thing I always like adding is go to effect, noise and grain, and just add a quick noise to this to help blend that glow in there a little bit. Maybe we'll add a noise amount of 12% and uncheck use color noise. And that's gonna help with, you know, banding of the glow effect if that's what you care about. So, so far everything's looking good, but we have a little bit more we need to add to this. So I wanna make like the lightning streaks a little bit skinnier towards the end of their animation and talk about how you can create new lightning streaks fairly quick. Before we move on, if you're looking to save hours of time and produce beautiful motion graphics, check out our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack here for After Effects. Browse through over 1,400 templates with our previewable extension, and within a few clicks of a button, you can add, edit, and export work faster than anyone else on the planet. So if you're looking to save time and make motion graphics extremely easy, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. That link will be in the description below. All right, so to create these thinner lightning streaks, because right now we only have the thick ones, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lightning accent, and before we do that, let's actually trim out the out point here. Uh, so we know how long this is and our timeline will look a little bit more clean. And what we'll do is we'll take our lightning accent and we're going to duplicate it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna offset it in time by a few frames here, maybe four. And we'll set our stroke width down to two. And you see this layer creates these more uh, scattered lightning streaks here. I think it's a cool touch, but that's not really what I'm going for. So what we can do is we can open up our lightning streak on the contents. Uh, we can go into the wiggle paths and you'll see that we have our random seed 
with that expression. Just all click the stopwatch to get rid of that random seed. And we'll go into our rough and edges for this layer and we can spring down the border down to two and that should you know, give you that thinner line without breaking apart. So you can experiment with the border and see you know what that gives you uh, if you're if you're interested in that look so just playing that back in real time if i had a border of five you get those really cool broken up lines there using a border of two but you get more of a solid thin line with this so i want to talk about how you can easily duplicate this uh, so you can add more lightning streaks around your composition but we have two layers here so what we want to do is actually we want to go into our lightning streak here the top one and one that we just duplicated uh, go into the shape go to path one and all we're going to do is all click stopwatch for that path and we'll go into our bottom lightning streak here and we'll hit U twice and you'll see the path right there. All we're gonna do is take the pick whip for that top path and parent it to the bottom path. So whatever this path is, this second lightning streak will um, you know, update. So that's pretty cool. So now what we can do is we can take our accent here, we can duplicate both of them, bring them forward. We can move them around our timeline. And now what we can do is we can go into that bottom path there for the duplicated one. And you know, without breaking anything, we can just start removing some of these points here and we can just add like a new path like this. And both layers should update to your new path and just go ahead and make sure that that path is always with your new duplicated uh, path. So as you can see by duplicating these and creating your own custom paths every time, uh, you can get some really unique looks with these accents. But I wanna show you another technique on how to create like a circle and talk about animating uh, that path to create even more variation uh, in your lightning accents. So as before, we'll just take one of these, we'll just duplicate them. I'll just bring this off to the side for now. And as you can see, I even did a lightning streak where they followed the path of like one of our graphics here to create a unique look on it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete this. So we'll go into that path. And before we really do anything, I'm gonna actually grab the ellipse tool here and I'm gonna draw out like a circle like so. And all I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click on this, click on convert to Bezier path. And we're just gonna copy the path of that shape layer and then we can delete it. And we can go into the lightning streak path and we can just paste this in here. And it's automatically going to update and take that circle. And just make sure as before that that top expression for that other path is connected to the new path. So what we can do is grab this top path and move it anywhere in our composition. And at the beginning of our layer, I can add a keyframe for path and I can move that keyframe forward to the end of our layer there. I'm gonna hit Control T on my keyboard, it'll be Command T on a Mac. And I, what I can do is scale this down, you know, to where it's a very small point like this. And that'll create a very small and unique, you know, lightning path animation there. So you can really go crazy uh, with this sort of look. So now you can create yourself a little bit more of a custom path animation uh, with that quick technique as well. And with everything put together, you can really build out a really cool scene with all these techniques. So now you can call yourself the Zeus of After Effects. So I hope you found this video informative. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. We're gonna be doing tons of really cool, unique GFX tutorials like this. We post two post-production tutorials every single week. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We have really cool design and After Effects content on there. That link is in the description below. And always, be creative. Thank you.